That's a complete lie. lie. It's a complete it's bogus. lie. It's bogus. Because words are powerful. Oh. They, they, they will, they, they will fester and sit and be rooted in your mind mm -hmm. for you to process yes. later on. Exactly. You exactly. cannot tell me words are not powerful. Exactly. When exactly. words have the ability to do that. Exactly. You know? That's why I'm so. Hi. You. Hi. You are. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I guess. Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> just having a little girl talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm interested. No, 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 no. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to YouTube. Why? Oh, this is. Yeah, why not? Yeah, <laughs> Did you introduce so, yourself? Well, my name is Say Why Gagi. Um, oh, wow. We're here to make King. It's strictly. <laughs> okay, okay, sounds good. What are you guys talking about, man? Ah, uh, just a few things. <laughs> Let me show you, like, I'm down. We're, yeah, we're talking about life. Right now we're discussing, um, actually we're talking about the power, the power of words. Uh -huh. So we're just discussing how words can have the ability to shape one's mind and shape one's reality. Uh, and my cousin. Hi. Hi. Say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube, what's up? <laughs> Say your name? My name is Amina. Oh, okay. Amina Okay, that's me. Okay, that's nice. dream. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. <laughs> 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 I'm Sally. Oh, Sally. Sally. Yuki. Yuki. It's okay. It's okay. Wait, is that Osayuki? Mm -hmm. You know an Osayuki too? Uh, no, no, like, my, my, my mom always tell me about Yuki. Yuki means moon, mm -hmm. right? Right. There's a song that you normally sing. Um, Ukino Bana, Ero, we pass away. Oh my god, oh, what song is that? Oh my god, what song is that? So, like, what uh, Sayuki means, like, is it like God? God made the moon, so, or? the whole thing is Sayuki do la sona bon, which means God created the moon to brighten darkness for the world. Wow. That's what I me too. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So yeah, it's okay. Yes. What does okay mean? Satisfied. Satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm satisfied. You guys should know it's okay. What's the name? How do you pronounce it? Omozeli. 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 But she's Ishan. I'm Ishan. Oh yeah, Ishan. Okay. Isn't it all from the same place? My mom is Ishan, but my dad is my dad. And so Omozeli. Yeah, that is like. Oh, uh, Bradley might mean the same thing. You never know. So, so, so that's what he say. <laughs> that's what he say. Like. Hi. Yeah. How are you? Hi. Yeah, How have you been? Tired. Oh, yeah, did you go to the vlogging? 80s party? Yeah. Uh, say hello party? to the camera. What's up? What's this? Are you vlogging? <laughs> yeah. Well, she is. Say hi to my YouTube channel. <laughs> What's your YouTube channel name? Uh, Yuki Y O U K E Y Y. Hi Yuki. <laughs> Yuki. <laughs> well, I talk about Christ, life, beauty. Uh -huh. I do makeup tutorials. And oh, girl, you getting so fairly new. So. Let's go. That's a song. Um, this vlog is just for the convention. I usually don't do vlogs, but it's my first vlog. I didn't. I just wanted to vlog it because I feel like. There's not enough stuff about the Benin culture like out there. Yeah. Um, but that's what's up. I like that. I like the fact that you guys are taking Benin out there, like putting Benin out there. Yeah, we have to. Uh, if not, fine. our culture will die, so that's yeah, true. The, yeah. the funny thing is, even Benins in Benin don't take Benin seriously. Exactly. Some of my cousins you know can't even speak. Like, you know, the, language. the ones that live in they Nigeria? Can't speak. And they were born and raised oh, yeah. there. Yeah, I'm, I was born and raised in Benin. Can you speak? Well, I can't speak Benin. At what age, like did, you get, at what age did, you, did you come to the US? Yeah, um, like 18, I guess. Mm. 18? Yeah, 18. How old are you? Yeah, I'm 22. Oh, okay. Were you born and raised here? I was born in New York, please. Really? <laughs> you can hear the East Coast. I know, right? <laughs> 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 So I'm guessing you don't know how to speak. I mean, Koya. Koya. That's all you need to know. He tried. He tried. That's all you need to know. Oh, he's right. Koya. 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 Like so do you guys greet in Benin like to your parents? You don't? No. It was not daddy. 
What's up, bro? Sometimes we forget him because we gonna pull up. He be looking at me like, you didn't see me? Oh, my fault, my fault, good morning. They're not like that. They're not like normal. They're not straight. No, whenever we travel to Nigeria, I have to then start putting it on. Like, oh, you know. Mm -hmm. like, when I went to Nigeria, I was like, you have to, you have to say like, oh, call my yes. Yeah. Call. Like, for some reason, we need to put a lot of repetition. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Well, I do be like everybody around me. You understand? Like, if I had the older people, like, ah, uh, Domo, Kwaba, yeah, Domo, Sa. You know, because, like, probably it's a sign of respect, but, like, sometimes. But in the, um, the convention they were having about the disconnect. The what? Disconnect. The disconnect. Oh, yeah. from, like, young people talking about it? Yeah, they had, like, a seminar about it. Oh. Yeah, so we basically saying was like... Was it an open discussion? Yeah, it was like an open discussion. Yeah, for everybody to should have went to that. Yeah. yeah, so like, it was a disconnect between, um, between the, the young and the adults. You understand? Like, the, the older people don't want us to be connected to Bini culture. Like, really, that's the main reason why... they don't want us to be? Uh, why, why I say that is because they, they really don't put us in it. Like, they don't, right. they don't, they don't they teach don't us more about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't tell us nothing about it. So yeah. they just, they just on um, this, this note that you don't really care for it. So yeah. you're in America, you're in America. Don't mm -hmm. forget about Benin. You understand? Can you imagine? You only need it when you're out there, when you're in Benin. But since you're not in Benin, you don't need it. That's not true. So like, so a lot of us, like, I just sang that song, Kinabana, because my mom was raising me in that light. Like, hey, you are never depart from you being a good boy. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. Like, always know your things like she even taught me some songs in um she even taught me some songs in um you know um, what is it called in isha um uh, there was this yeah there was this song okay i'm coming there was this song called um yeah in my back killing mary do yeah in my back killing my I'm as I marry with so like it's Isha, you understand? So like she taught me a lot of songs in Isha and at the same time teach me a lot of songs in Benin. You mm -hmm. So like I can relate with both sides. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because I'm from those two parts of the of, of, of those states. So like I actually like take Benin. A lot of people don't know the history of Benin. You understand? Mm -hmm. Benin like we are like basically like the the head of Nigeria. I heard that. Where were we like the, the beginning? Head the head we're the head of Nigeria. Somebody had told me that we're the oldest, um, we're the, the oldest, like, the oldest royal tribe. That's what I heard. I heard, yeah. The yeah. kingdom, the, yeah. the, uh -huh. the, the, um, is that what you're the, is the, um, the Portuguese. Uh, Portuguese, you yeah, said, yeah. The Portuguese were the ones that were relating with us. Yeah. So when the British came, they saw that we were already civilized than every other part of Africa. Mm -hmm. In West Africa, we are already the ones that were civilized. We had our own clothes. Mm -hmm. Whereby you go to the Yoruba land, the Urubo land, the other tribes, mm -hmm. and then they see wearing leaves. Oh, we, wow. had, we, had, we, we had our really? own clothes. We had our, we had our, um, what they call, we had the legislators, Dang. like the government already yeah. installed, like we had power. Yeah. And our own, we could like take over ourselves. So this Bini kingdom, like I'm saying. Is that and so um, it was crazy. The you, the Europeans saw that like we are like straight up civilized already. You understand? Like so, what is going on? How did this guy get so like we 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 had street light before the Europeans had street lights. Mm. Is that so? They didn't have nothing. Is that so? We had a great war. Like the way they had the Great War of China, we had the, a Great War of Benin. You understand? Like if you, if you go to Benin, like, you see those places are moats. You see, like, you see those slopes, those were walls that were demarcating like, Benin, you know, from any other place to come. You know, so, like, Benin, had, we've been there from the start. Yeah, you know, I've so, always like, heard that. We're strong. We're the only people that fought war with British. You understand? Know, like, no other people did that. So, yeah. we've been there from the start. But the thing is, we, didn't, we don't take our stuff seriously. Our parents don't don't try to put us out there. They yeah. don't try to make us, like, like is that you know it's an history? Yeah. Exactly. Is it anywhere a Benin man is, is is a king in that place? Mm. Yes, yeah, mm. so like we are always royals wherever we are. You can you can also I think you can also tell that from a lot of the uh, there's like it, just looking at Benin culture in and of itself, just from the traditional attire and everything, like the dance that they did yesterday. 
there's something royal. Coming generation is to like, to basically like, is like enjoy what we're trying to, to put out there for them. Yeah. And so like right now, we need to take our stuff seriously. We need to make sure that people can understand more about the Bini culture. Sounds good to me. Man. <laughs> Being that there's not a lot of us to begin with, it's hard to do like conventions like this because not everybody is going to be able to come. Wait, wait, not everybody interested in coming. That's another one. That's another one. Yeah. That's another one. Yeah. It does feel like. There would be a larger percentage of youth attending these things if they cared to be in. I was just telling somebody if there was a class that taught Benin history, who we are at our core, I would go. Because you're learning your identity. You're learning who you truly are. Because we live in a. we Right now, we live in a society, the American, the American society, that strips us of our. Our identity we don't realize it it's not like you know it's not obvious but it happens every day bit by bit by bit the more you're exposed to one the less the less you are of the other you know that's fun because i went to school in nigeria for two years and they didn't really teach the culture really they just teaching stuff that you won't learn in europe or just teaching regular english subjects they're not they're never trying to like say all right this is beneath this is how it started this is the one we fought nothing. It's like, it just, you went to school for Niger in Niger? Wow. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. Yes, that's like a top four of school or something. Yeah, the, the, funny, the funny thing it says about um, them not teaching the old Benin languages is that they even teach Yoruba. Yeah. Wow. Really? really? That's not true. Right, Yoruba? You, they teach Yoruba, they teach Igbo, they teach How French. How backwards exactly. is that? But, but Bini, in Bini school, the Bini is like, it's like, <laughs> it's not even big out there. It's like, the Bini is not big, but you have Yoruba classes. You have all the tribe classes. Like. But uh, maybe the reason they have those classes is because of the majority of Nigerians are Igbos and Yorubas or whatever the case is. Yeah, but like we in Benin. Right. It's not we in Benin. This is the main thing that exactly. should be teaching you. Exactly. Like, in Benin, I agree. This, they should be, they should, it's a door. Like basically, it's not, they should be Benin, they should be um, Isha, they should be Esa, they should be Agbo, they should be like, it's not all those tribes. Yeah, we have a lot of tribes there, but certain tribes. In Benin, in the Edo state, you know, so they need to teach us things like that. A lot of people don't even know we had a lot of tribes. You know, they say, just think it's just Benin is the main thing. They say, if you call, if you ask anybody around there, they'll be like, I'm a Benin, I mean, you see that I'm a Benin or a Pisha. You know, but we had like 13 different tribes. We have the Esau. You, know, you feel me? Like, there are a lot, a lot of tribes there. You know, but you know, we don't get to, to know things like that. It's just, it's just sad. Yeah, I'll share my piece. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's it was good. It was, it was really good.
guys so we just got home to the airbnb apartment and tonight was actually pretty interesting because i had every intention and was okay with the idea of staying in the airbnb apartment and just chilling the entire time or sleeping but we ended up going to the 80s 90s throwback party that was part of the convention today's sunday and it's basically like the last day of the events most people went home today but it was lit it was fun i was shocked like legit shocked uh at how good it was the dj was awesome so yeah it was actually really really fun and i um i'm glad we went i'm glad we went it was probably the highlight of the entire weekend, which is funny because it was very, you know, chill, casual, but people were so amped up dancing and having a good time. So they got this part right, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna go to sleep and I have to be up early in the morning to finish packing and head, to, head over to the airport so that I can go back home. You guys, look at this fountain, it's so beautiful. This is the place we are staying at, at the Airbnb. I feel like it's a resort, you know? Hey guys, um, today is the last day at this last Airbnb. Day last day in Houston. Last day in the... <laughs> <laughs> so we're supposed to check out at 12 it is now 12 41 we're supposed yes, to check out of this place it's 12 41 okay it's 12 o'clock okay all right so um it's last last day my flight is at 3 20. this trip has been fun in spite of the disorganization of you know certain portions of the convention which i guess is expected with nigerian events unfortunately in spite of all that it was a lot of fun i think yesterday made up for a lot of it yeah you yeah. think so yeah i feel yesterday made up for a lot of it and um i'm gonna miss my boo my hey, sucking just take me with you <laughs> he's sucking cheeky cheeks I'm you too, boo. and um i hope to come back to houston soon lord willing and yeah this has been a really fun experience i'm glad i decided to come because this was not the most convenient time for me uh to take this little mini getaway but i'm so glad i did and i want to do more of these because it's awesome to just get away from your normal environment chill have fun be around you know good people so yeah I'm gonna start turning all these lights off. I'm sure I don't forget oh, anything. This bed is a mess. I didn't make it, but it's okay. They charged us a cleaning fee, so you know. I'm gonna get them to work because uh, they want to charge a cleaning fee. That's cool. I'll make sure to make. I'll make sure to to ensure that that cleaning fee is put to good use. So, my freaking earphones broke. Like, how am I supposed to survive in the airplane? Look, look, look at this. It has completely detached itself. Let me see. Look. I would buy mm -hmm. some earphones at the airport, but I feel like they're gonna be so overpriced, you know? I just want like the cheap little you know, 1099 ones that you get at TJ Apple, Maxx. Apple Those don't fit my ear. Really? Oh, so do you. I don't know what to say about this one. I wonder if one ear works at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 so, you know wow. Oh, wow. The only reason I put makeup on is because I knew I was going to vlog. I didn't want to come here and, you know, disgrace myself. Usually I just go to the airport with my bare face and, yeah. Do you really? Yeah. I'd be looking so janky at the airport. You have no idea. I used to. You want to? Papa Do's. No, there's one in the airport. Okay, cool. I was going to get Papa Do's um, before leaving, but that's not going to happen because... My flight's at 3.20 and it's almost 1 o'clock. And I have, it's Labor Day weekend, so I have no idea what TSA is going to be like. 
Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let me just do one quick check around Yo, just to be sure. You said what? Uh-uh-uh, uh-uh. Little Einstein's. Uh, that's all I know. I'm <laughs> big. <laughs> this vlog was fun. It was a little more challenging than I thought it would be, but we got through it. And it was so like I shout out to people who vlog because man, my arms been hurting. That's why you guys see me doing this a lot. I be switching arms because one just gets so tired, you know. So people who vlog, more power to you, man. More power to you. Houston, it was real. It is time to go and I'll catch y'all later. Bye. <laughs> you just got caught. You just got caught. You just got caught. You know, I just had to jig one more time before I leave at the dog on purpose. <laughs> Bye, guys. We'll see you later.